More than $2.6 billion in grant money will be used to battle homelessness across the country. And the money is coming from the Department of Housing and Urban Development. We can tell you Hamilton County is going to be getting nearly $25 million. And Local 12's Christian Hauser shows us exactly where that money is going and who is making sure it's spent properly. It's the latest installment in our ongoing series, Childhood Poverty, Cincinnati's Crisis. Kevin Finn with Strategies to End Homelessness says the $24 million will go primarily to existing housing projects for people who used to be on the street and are currently in a shelter. Finn says they're in the ballpark of 15,000 people experiencing homelessness in Hamilton County. Even with this funding, only about a third could be helped with housing beyond a shelter. And the outcomes are not great for those left behind. About a third of them will become homeless again. But if we're able to offer them a space in one of these housing programs to help them out of homelessness, those recidivism rates go down considerably. Nearly all of this money is annual grant renewals, but recipients must prove their projects are successful. Projects that are not doing well and are not um, as effective at helping homeless people uh, become and remain formerly homeless people, uh, then they may not be refunded and the dollars might be put toward new projects. Even though it's the seventh most populous state, Ohio received the fourth highest amount of money. I talked with Richard Cho from the U.S. Housing and Urban Development about why Ohio was punching above its weight in terms of dollars awarded. Communities that have had higher performing um, efforts on homelessness um, tend to have um, larger overall awards, um, what we call the annual renewal demand because they've actually had successful projects that have been funded year after year after year. So the better an area uses the money, the more money it could get. Here in Walnut Hills, the building behind me houses the Interfaith Hospitality Network. And unlike the other organizations, which are just receiving renewals for another year of funding, this group is receiving new money. And that money will enable it to help more than two dozen families get into stable housing. Here's the project. It's going to be 26 housing units. Interfaith has relied on local congregations to house those suffering homelessness. The site-based approach is different and so important for our community because there's such a lack of affordable housing um, right now. And so our families are having a harder time accessing safe and affordable housing to meet their needs. McKee says the project's expected to house its first families by the end of the year. For Local 12 News, I'm Christian Hauser. We should note here there is money specifically targeting youth homelessness as well as money designated for those who are fleeing domestic violence, sexual assault or human trafficking situations.